everyone welcome to another week today is a special day because it's my birthday so hello happy birthday um it's also pandemic birthday so we're not going anywhere or doing anything um but anyway it's still nice to know i made another year around the sun um <laughs> so i hope you all are having a great week i did pull some cards for the week so let's see what we got first up the lovers so we have gotten this card before. This is Major Arcana and the Lover's card, sometimes it can be about, you know, your true love, that kind of thing. But oftentimes, because this is Major Arcana, this is an event coming up, it could be that you're meeting your your one true love. Um, but oftentimes this is about a healthy partnership. So you can see they're protecting this heart here and see how the sword is glowing. That means it's divinely authorized. And you can see that they are clutching each other, protecting what's between them. So often this cannot be a business partnership as well. Um, but watch this week for healthy partnership to help you um, move forward in whatever it is that you are coveting together. Recognize that it's good. All right. Knight of Pentacles. So Pentacles is the element of earth. This is our earthly goods, our earthly body. These are the health and money cards. But the knights in tarot are always rushing in where others fear to tread. You can see that this knight, he has a nice pentacle here, but no saddle and no bridle, no reins. So he doesn't know where this horse is going, but he's going there really fast. So this is a big nudge from spirit as far as your health and money goes. Um, this week, be sure that you make a plan. So like if you decide this week, that's it. I've had enough of my pandemic 15. I'm going on a diet and exercise program. Don't just say that, make a plan. Otherwise you go racing off in one direction and you really aren't setting yourself up for success. Um, if this is money, again, make a plan. Don't just rush in. All right, and the emperor. So this, like the lovers, this is another major arcana card. And the emperor calls on us to recognize our male energy. So authority, right and wrong, judgment, making money, that kind of thing. And the thing about the Emperor card is notice this bird right here up top. If I can get it in focus, there you go. So remember, birds represent your spirit guides and your angels. And this king is keeping his right close by. So be sure while you're taking care of others that you are also staying connected to spirit. So meditate, think, um, think about it, pray about it, that kind of thing, and um, get some answers because other people look to you to help take care of them. So this week, be sure that you are a good emperor and that you are thoughtful in your decisions. All right. And then I did have, I forgot to tell you that I did have Morgan draw the cards for us this week. So my primary guide. And we drew one Oracle card from my Wisdom of Avalon deck. Let's see what we got. Trust. So this card is really cool in this deck because you can see the symbol for trust is up here and you have to look for it and it's carved in this rock right next to the path. This is all about trusting that you're on the right path this week. So often we spend half our time worried, what if I had gone this way? What if I do this? Um, and we spend so much time and energy worrying about the paths we could have taken that we forget to trust that we are on the right path. Trust your judgment this week. You're on the right path. And really, these go together. Um, <laughs> trust that you are in partnership with the right people and that you're on the right path. Make a plan. And take care of others along the way. Be a healthy emperor, okay? So again, we got the lovers, the knight of pentacles, and the emperor this week and trust that you're on the right path. So anyway, I hope you all have a great week. Thank you for spending a few minutes of my birthday with me. Don't forget to subscribe um, and leave your comments below if you have questions. And I do have a link there if you ever want a private reading. I'm happy to do that for you. And um, I do have a book on sale right now. Sedona Sin is on sale and Dance of the Heart is free. So my birthday gifts to you. <laughs> um, so anyway, have a great week. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.